Okay. Is that the baby? Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up, you guys? It's your favorite homegirl, homegirl, Zazzy, and y'all, I am back at it with a whole nother video. Alright, y'all, so, look, my homeboy, Alec, hit me up in the DM and was like, Zazzy, I've been watching your videos, and look, when you gonna introduce yourself to us, like, we don't even know who you are, I was like, dang, hold up, little baby, hold up, like, wait, 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 look, I got you. But, nah, for real, for real, I was like, dang. It was gonna come, but it was gonna come a little bit later. But now that they ask, you know, like, <laughs> here y'all go. So, I asked my Instagram, I asked Facebook, and I said, hey, y'all, tell me some questions y'all wanna know. Like, I'm doing the introduction. I might do a part two, mark, part, uh, part two, part three later down the line. But, for now, y'all gonna get these 25 questions, 20, 25 questions. All right, and I got a special guest, my brother, Dion, the comedian. He is here with me. He gonna ask me them questions, so he on the side or whatever, you know. He gonna ask me them questions so we can get it popping. But before we start, I'm gonna give y'all like the little brief intro, you know, whatever. So my name is Desi. I live in Atlanta, Southside. You know, y'all already know I gotta go ahead and cue it up. Y'all already know I had to cue it up. Hey, look, you can't play too much. You know, I ain't trying to get copyrighted. But shout out to Clayco. Shout out to the Southside. This small shout out to Henry County. Not for real, for real. But anyways, y'all, I was really born in Alabama, raised in Atlanta. But, you know, I've been living on the South Side for, well, seeing life forever. So, I just love the South Side. I love Clayco. That just me. That just me. So, you know, shout out to Mulatto. Um, but anyways... Um, I have a daughter. She is two years old. You probably done seen her in the vlogs, the videos by now. Um, and what else? What else y'all need to... Oh, I went to the Alabama State University. Um, I was a mass communication major. And I graduated and I taught for two years. And after I taught, I went to grad school at LSU and mastered in HR. And so, you know, here we are. Like, y'all will find out the rest in a minute. But that's the little brief little intro, so yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Dion, go ahead and hit me with that question number one. We're gonna start that over. All right, time for question number one. Oh, hold up one second. Let's say what's up to the vlog. Yo. <laughs> I'm about to finish answering these questions. I actually got to start over now, but <laughs> I'm going to call you afterwards. You want to call me when I start recording, so it's cool. All right, you guys, so we finna get into question number one. All right, go ahead, Dion. How long have you been interested? Wait, sorry. <laughs> Why? Uh, all right, you ready? Yeah. All right. All right, y'all, so question number one. <laughs> I had it good the first time. You did. I know I did. I did. Okay. Did it, did it. All right. Qu question number one. <laughs> How long have you been interested in photography? All right, y'all. So to be honest, I've been interested in photography since I was a kid. Like I remember getting my first camera like at like a very young age for Christmas. I was so excited. Honestly, my mom and my grandma have like photos everywhere. Like we have suitcases full, of everything. So um it's just grew from then. Like I've taken pictures for a very long time, but I definitely think it had to be like elementary school for sure. Oh yeah, question number two. <laughs> what inspired you to start a YouTube channel? Oh, okay, y'all. So to be honest, 
um i really knew that i wanted to do a youtube channel when like my daughter turned two years old i was like dang like i missed out on so many videos and memories i had snapchat and instagram but those was like short little clips i was like i really need to have videos but before that i've always wanted a youtube channel as like a middle school high schooler i was on tumblr i was like oh i want a youtube channel but um I don't know like it was just the thing back in high school middle school when youtube had just like came about but i think i just really wanted one because i just wanted to have a storage to post videos to sh like to have with my friends my family and to just look back on to see the growth in myself as well all right number three look down because i ain't gonna be keeping up with these numbers <laughs> why did you name your business expose her photos oh that's a good question all right so honestly y'all i was praying and praying to god for like a few years like just asking him what to name my photography business and i had different names um like rose golden honey like just all these different little names i was coming up with and i just knew i did not want it to be my name like i just think that's so typical like desi's photos desi photography i knew i wanted it to be something different and so i was just praying and reading the bible and i saw like this scripture about let your light shine before others and i just felt god was telling me if you expose who you are and be the person that i'm calling you to be with your gift then i will bring clients i will bring people to you so i just named it expose her photos because i'm just exposing who i am this is the real me and i don't know my tagline is like I want to reveal your light to have authentic experiences because I don't know I just want to be myself and just create that bond that thing so that's pretty much why I named the expose her photos I know it has a bad connotation with like the word expose but I just a lot of people told me to change the name but I was just like nah that's what it is I'm rocking with it like I'm gonna keep my faith in God and it ain't stopped me from getting um clientele I did think that guys was not going to support it i was like dang if i name it expose her photos guys aren't going to support me but i have a lot of guy clients so i'm happy for it look god don't play about me and that's on period all right let's go <laughs> what do you love about what do you love the most about being their mother oh what do i love most about being a mom y'all I pray for this child. I pray for this child. I pray for this child. And I and I wanted a girl too. But I think I love most about being a mom is just the fact that like she's mine. Like I don't got to give her back to anyone. Like I take care of her. Like she depends on me. Like she with me majority of the time. Like it, it's just like I don't know to just mold somebody to teach them how to grow to teach them new things. It's like I don't know. It's just a wonderful experience. I would not trade it for anything in the world. Okay. Uh, Dion. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all. I can't with the comedian in the room, but I really, I really wish that. Uh, dang! Now you gotta ask me again. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm over here like trying to look forward, and I'm like, all right, but. What was the question? What is something you knew? What is something you know now that you wish your younger self knew? Okay, look, young Desi, look, if I could talk to young Desi, I would definitely say, like, I really hope that um, you remember, like, to know that, like, God don't play about you, to continue to have faith, like, don't be discouraged by all the minor setbacks, like, because not only is it going to help you grow, but it's going to be a testimony to help other people grow. I wish I knew that back then, because back then I was like, wow, this stuff keep happening to me, God, like, look, I'm doing the right thing, like, why? So, I think, look, just hold tight, I got something for you, like, yeah, I, I definitely wish I knew that back, you know, in my younger days. All right. Why did you get into photography? Why did I get into photography? So I've always been into photography. I was on the yearbook. I was on a newspaper. Um, my family think I'm the family photographer back when I was like 10. Like <laughs> I've always been into photography for real, y'all. But really, I guess during the pandemic, one of my frat brothers 
bought me a camera as a graduation gift like i did not ask for it i did not say nothing he was like desi i just feel led to buy you this and i was like oh my god and it was not like a cheap camera it was an expensive camera and like i was just like for my frat brother to buy that i was like i can't waste his money bro like i can't like i just feel like if people buy me something like and invest in me i gotta go hard for it so shout out to bryce shout out to bryce shout out to bryce but nah when he uh bought me that i definitely was like i gotta go hard and then second one was my best friend aaron um i called him ra randomly one day i was feeling discouraged about my camera and i said hey bro can you just pull up on me i just want to take some photos of you and he was like i just got a haircut i'm gonna pull up and he pulled up and i posted the pictures and i got so much attention from him and i was just like okay i'm gonna take this seriously like obviously people like my work so i don't know that's the real thing i guess recently that made me really want to go hard those two instances what made you launch your youtube channel now <laughs> now um like i said i've always wanted to launch a youtube channel this thing 10 years overdue <laughs> or 10 plus years overdue but I wanted to launch it now, like I said, when Kylie turned two, I was just like, dang, like, I don't have these videos. And then, too, it was just like, I was already, like, recording little clips of, like, behind the scenes of my photography. And I was just like, man, I need to stop, like, being scared. I need to, I'm a thug. I got to just do it. And so, <laughs> yeah. And I was just like, I got to do it. Like, I got to. So, I had to, I think I bought the camera. I plotted for a whole year. Whenever I say I'm about to do something like YouTube, my photography business, I I research it for a year. So I research, I research how to do a YouTube channel, how to like you know get monetized, what I can do, what I can't do, what I can't say, what I can't say, what music can I put. I was like investing. I was researching it very hard, and so. I don't know i like to start things on the first if y'all ain't noticed so i was like okay when the first come as soon as i move out like i i was in the process of moving i said as soon as i move out when the first hit i'm gonna do it and so i moved out um in july and i was just like all right the first coming and i just did it so i'm proud of myself and here we are we we here now ain't no going back now how does creating content fit into your daily schedule? Whew, child, Lord Jesus. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Trying to film YouTube videos is so hard. It's so challenging. Like, trying to do content. I like, because I'm the type of person, I got to think ahead of time. I got to write everything down. So I'm like, what I'm going to post? What day I'm going to post it? What time I'm going to post it? Uh, I be at work like, dang, um... Like, I literally be plotting, like, what photos to post, should I post it, like, what, I don't know, it's just a lot to go into it, so, I literally have to write everything down, I write everything in my phone, like, right now, I have the whole month of August laid out, like, what I'm gonna post, what pictures, what videos, how many videos, how many, how much stuff I wanna do, so, I don't know, like, I feel like I have to write everything out, um, given sometimes things are unexpected, and then I just also have to make time to hang with my friends, go to church, <laughs> give myself some me time, go get my hair done. Like, it's just so much stuff that I try to plan. So I think I just have to write everything out and be organized. And all my friends know, they be like, guys, we got to plan to hang out with you. I'm like, look, look, look. Long as we hanging out, it don't matter. But I think creating content fits into that is, yeah, I be up late, y'all. Like, 2, 3 in the morning working on stuff. Like, even right now, look, Kylie sleep in the bed right now. As soon as she went to sleep, I was like, hey, Dion, pull up. We got to record this YouTube video. Like, that's really, so either, I really record either when she's asleep or when she's with her dad. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Leg up, leg up. <laughs> All right, what brings you the most joy? What brings me the most joy? Uh... <laughs> Your phone died? Yes. Oh, okay. Um, what brings yeah, what brings me the most joy, um, I guess about YouTube is just having the confidence for the longest I didn't have confidence to YouTube do YouTube. So that brings me the most joy. Um, I guess with my daughter is just to know that she's healthy, to know that she you know, that that she's learning and healthy, stuff like that. 
And I think with photography, I get a lot of joy doing like, I don't know, things that I never thought I could do. Like when I learn a new skill or doing like weddings or engagements and stuff like that. Like I, I just love love. So I just, I just get so excited. Like, yes. All right, brief intermission. How your damn phone died? Damn. You know I was born in Alabama? No, but I was. Really? And I forgot that I meant to say like, Aaron got a song in there. They'd be like, "I was born in Alabama, raised in Atlanta," and I, I and then he was like, you "Born in Alabama too?" Yeah. So he was like, in the song, he go, "I was born in Alabama, raised in Atlanta, got the focus of a Canon camera," and I meant to say that shit, and I was like, "God damn it, I forgot." It's okay. Yeah. But all right, I send it to this phone so you could, uh, you know, what number we was at. No, but one question was weird, so I skipped one. All right, how am I doing? Am I doing bad? You're doing good. You sure? Yes. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. Ready? All right. We we took a brief intermission and we right back at it. All right, let go. How do you stay organized? How do I stay organized, y'all? Everything get written down in my phone. I sometimes I write stuff on paper, but it's honestly better for me to write it to my phone. Sometimes I got text myself, um, but I really stay organized by like writing it in my phone. And I have to like visually look at a calendar and be like, okay, what day is Kylie going to be here? What day? What day am I hanging with my friends? Pretty much what I told y'all before. So just writing everything down, you know, write the vision, make it plain, let go. <laughs> what can we expect in the future? What can y'all expect in the future? All right, so I have three segments, y'all. Day with Desi, Behind the Lens, and Transparent Tuesdays. Um, I haven't um, recorded a Transparent Tuesday video yet, but that's going to be uh, me just speaking on different experiences, life things. Um, behind the Lens is what it sounds like. Behind the, It's like pretty much behind the scenes, but I call it Behind the Lens. Um, and then day with Desi, that's going to be me with my friends, me with like Kylie, um, just, or just me by myself, y'all. Like, look, and you going to see me in the car because I stay recording in the car. So be prepared for that. Um, and I don't know, like as I grow, I just want y'all to grow with me. So, um, hopefully I can become better at editing. Um, y'all can experience new life things. You know, I'm single right now. Then, you know what I'm saying? Maybe, you know, <laughs> But as I grow, look, y'all gonna just grow with me. Let go. All right, we gonna bring it back. All right, what now? What challenges have you faced with YouTube so far? Woo, child. Okay, so the challenges I faced with YouTube so far with recording, I literally recorded like half of this video the other night and literally the battery just completely went dead and i was like it's one in the morning i'm about to go to sleep i'm not gonna wait for this to charge um so that's like ugh, gets on my nerves other challenges i faced is like um just like with music making sure like that um making sure like I'm not saying anything inappropriate. Um, trying to stop cursing. Look, y'all gotta hold me accountable to that. <laughs> um, and just other things that have been challenging. Um, really, like you have to be very, very consistent with YouTube, um, especially in the beginning, because you're trying to get people to follow you. And I just want to make sure I'm being myself. Like I feel like sometimes people are like doing a little bit too much. So I think that's like challenging. And I guess. You know finding a balance to when to record when to edit because it's like i kind of can't record or edit when i'm at work or when kylie's up because it's just not gonna work out that well but just trying to find a balance look i'm gonna have to give me some headphones soon because your girl need like peace and quiet to edit for real for real did you pledge and why did you decide to pledge okay so i am a member of zeta Phi basis sorority incorporated um i just wanted to pledge because well first of all i'm a first generation college student um and so i just did my research and that's just the sorority i felt best fit me and i just knew that i wanted to join and i did because i was like look we gonna do this thing so yeah um you know spring 17 in this thing <laughs> Um, but yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I really love the...
Oh fuck, keep messing up. All right, that's <laughs> it. Shit, I'm hungry. All right, let's go. What is your biggest goal for your YouTube? Okay, so yeah, one of my biggest goals for YouTube is I want to get five with my behind the lens footage. Like, I want to be a bit videographer on the low. Like, I'm just so curious about like how they do it, making like five B roll, like making five edits, like music videos, stuff like that. So. I really want to get like that's one of my personal goals like I really want my videography I want to like review stuff do like cool little hacks tricks so that's one of my biggest goals as far as like the vlogs and hanging with me and all that that's just gonna be me being me um and then I guess transparent Tuesdays that's just gonna be me telling my personal experience so yeah i i think my biggest goal is to get fight with that behind the lens footage like i hope like a year or two from now like i'm like dang okay yeah yeah <laughs> all right big question who's your favorite photographer oh <laughs> my favorite photographer has to be peter mckinney um i definitely like um jordan ari in Atlanta she does five studio photography and she's a, like around my age and then there's this other photographer um, named Jordan um, he does five photography as well I'm gonna drop all three of their names below look comment below let me know who y'all favorite photographer is but yeah that is definitely those three probably like one of my favorites and I don't know I have so many that I look at and that I have saved I'm gonna probably like insert like different ones in a second but um yeah probably them and just mecca gamble like i don't know i love wedding photography lifestyle photography brand photography but if you know how to do some video edits and photography together like i don't know i like that like i spent hours watching that on youtube like hours <laughs> what was your first camera oh my first camera was ooh, wait my first camera like First the, the first one that I bought myself was the Canon. You said no? Your first camera. <laughs> My first camera? I really don't remember. It had to be some little Polaroid look. Wind it up. <laughs> take it to uh, Walmart. Develop. Bring it back. Um, But now I bought myself a Canon T3i in college. My freshman year. I got me some little money for my little Walmart check. And I said, <laughs> We going to uh, Best Buy today. And then I had put on Instagram, I was like, I'm praying for a camera, you guys. Um, like, I got to get it. And then, like, that next week, I don't know what happened. I went to Best Buy. I was like, I'm getting it. That Canon T3i, I still got it. I'm never selling it. I hope I never lose it, give it away. Because that thing is special to me. <sighs> Tears for the camera. All right, we moving on. Lego. <laughs> Do you have footage of your first edited photo compared to your current work now oh do i i really think i do so um i know i have photos from when i used to take pictures on the yearbook i'm gonna insert some of those i'm gonna ask my friends can i insert them because they probably look crazy but um and then here's some of my other work and eh, eh. uh, these are some of my favorite photos you know what i'm saying shout out to k shout out to k but um yeah, I don't know. I definitely can see the growth, but I'm, your girl got to grow some more. Definitely, for sure. Not where I want to be yet. What do you want people to remember about your work? Um, I really want people to remember that, like, even though, like, my skills weren't always there, like, I definitely gave them my all. I definitely try to give my all in every photo shoot. Um, I don't think that I'm best compared to other people that I admire, like the people I mentioned earlier, but I definitely know I give my 100% all, and I just try to be consistent. Like, as long as they see, like, dang, she at least trying, she she going after it, like, she might not even be five, but y'all gonna see me. I'm gonna get on y'all nerves, but y'all gonna see me. I want people to remember that, because, like, I want them to know how much I love it. Like, look, I'm posting my work even when I know it could be better, but... Sometimes I don't know how to make it better, but that's why you keep doing practicing so you continue to get better. But yeah. 
where do you see yourself in the next five years? Ooh, not the five year ago. Um, I definitely hope one day that I can like not be working for corporate America and strictly just be uh, you know, doing my photography thing, doing my videography thing, um, and just YouTube. I hope to one day be married. Um, I hope to yeah, in the next five years I hope to have a house. Um yeah like those are my five year goals i just really hope that i have grown more as a mom everything in every aspect of my life i just hope i'm i'm on a new level you know what i'm saying i really just hope i'm on a new level by that time yeah went but dang five years how old will i be yeah i'm gonna be in my 30s so well i'm gonna be 25 forever even though i ain't 25 now but that now i'm at a yeah hopefully i've grown you know for real for real wait <laughs> Ask that question one more time. What was your reaction when you found out you were pregnant? I was like ecstatic. Like I was so, so happy. Like I had been trying to get pregnant for forever and I wasn't able to get pregnant and I lost a child. I'll talk about that later. But my reaction was just so excited. I was so happy because I was just like, dang, I've been trying to have a child for so long. I found out on September 4th, 2018. And I was just like, I had came home from teaching. I had went out to eat like with this mentor lady. And when I, I had like an attitude and everything. And so my cycle comes on every day on the exact day. And I was like, something wrong. Like, I don't, it don't be all. So literally i was like i got i knew coming home i said i gotta take a test i bought the test on the way home and i took it when i saw that thing i was like, <laughs> like i don't know i was so excited i called my friends like it was just an amazing feeling but um yeah yeah i was excited like yeah <laughs> as a single mom how do you balance work life mom life and social life Ooh, um I really just I really don't know how I do it really sometimes like prayer look <laughs> um but I think I balance it all by like really just trying to make schedules really just trying to like make sure I'm giving adequate time to each person each thing in my life like try to spend enough time with my daughter enough time with work enough time doing stuff for me so really just making a schedule what are your goals for youtube what are my goals for youtube i think i answered this before but um really to get better with behind the lens um i really am not one of those people that care about the subscribers the comments the likes i mean i do want people to subscribe like and comment but to me that's not the important thing to me to me it's like I don't know. I'm accomplished one of my goals. I was so scared to do YouTube. Like, I, I was so worried about what people would think. So, now that I'm doing it, I'm just like, I don't know. It's kind of like I don't care what people have to say, like the negativity and all that, because I mentally prepared myself for like a year about it. So, yeah, I'm doing one of my goals. I'm, I, it's the fact that I'm doing it right now. What moments made you fall in love with your craft? What moments made me fall in love with photography? Um, I would say the moments where, I don't know, like really just getting out there to do things I've never thought I would do. Like I did my first wedding. I did my first engagement. I've done creative shoots. I've met like people like through friendships through this, like literally me and Dion are friends through photography. So yeah, just literally just getting out my comfort zone and just doing things i never thought i could do so it's definitely made me fall in love with it and just using it to also serve like i never thought like i could do photography like at church and all that stuff so it's like i'm doing my passion like for god and i'm also doing it to give back to other people and to yeah i don't know just to do something i love but that's it that's it y'all yeah do y'all got more questions did i answer these right like what y'all thought uh comment below and let me know in the comments what you thought what you thought what you thought but y'all if you made it to this part of the vlog i got a special surprise for you guys look i need y'all to write south side look 
with two dollar signs that's the s's make sure y'all follow instructions now right south side and the s's gotta be dollar signs all right and the e at the end of south side gotta have two e's south side yeah just write that below two e's dollar sign with the s's yeah comment below and i'm gonna give somebody out of all those people i'm gonna give them fifty dollars so let me know let me know if you've been rocking with your girl if you really on the home team and you was paying attention today so write south side in the comments and don't forget to like as well but all right you guys that's it kylie sleep in the back i done made me some shrimp pasta i'm gonna go eat Dion gotta go home but y'all that's it that's it and that's it thank you for tuning in to your homegirl desi y'all i can't wait to see y'all next time i got more stuff on the way and look you know maybe in a few months i'll update y'all with some more stuff about me look i'm gonna tell y'all now you gonna see more of me in the car and i don't really know how to do makeup so you ain't gonna really see them get ready with me maybe me and kylie getting ready all right look that did a little did a little teaser with the expect but all right Dion, you gonna say bye to the people you know what i'm saying who gonna sing it for me who gonna really sing it for me but all right you guys i'm about to go edit this vlog because guess what guess what guess what it's getting posted tomorrow so i hope y'all enjoy and as always bye bye <laughs> all right y'all yeah 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 it took three four five takes but we did it yeah. it threw three four five takes but we did it yeah. <clears throat> i can't Dance, but it don't matter. Y'all, I need some shrimp pasta. Y'all wanna see? Y'all wanna see? Y'all wanna see? Y'all not. Bye. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Y'all not. <laughs>